Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video in my AutoCAD architecture series. Uh, you'll notice that I am using AutoCAD software and not AutoCAD architecture, but it's really the same thing. This is an AutoCAD architecture project, okay? Uh, what we're doing is we're drawing a dormer on top of our main roof. Um, you know, a dormer is basically just a decorative roof that, you know, sits on top of your roof. And it doesn't have to be decorative. It depends what the height is of your ceiling in your attic. If you have enough space to close that off and, and finish it off and walk around, then this could actually be part of that room up there. Um, but in this case, for us, we have a 612 pitch. And, you know, it wouldn't have enough height from the top of the ceiling joist to the bottom of the main ridge. Okay, so we, you'd be hunchback in there. Um, which wouldn't be enough space for anything other than just a decorative uh, dormer. Dormer is spelled D-O-R-M-I-R, -R, so just be careful it's not E-R. Uh, you could have multiple dormers. You could have a big dormer with two small dormers. You could have zero dormers. You could have one dormer. Um, and you could have more than three as well. We could put one down here as well. So totally depends on what you're looking for and what kind of style you want, but it really does dress up the outside of your home. Okay, so our finished copy is going to look like this. On the side elevations or on our wall section, same thing. You're going to have this drawn, okay? On the front elevation, we're going to make this dormer. This is a 10-foot wide dormer, which means from wall to wall is 10 feet. And then I want my ridge of the dormer to fall below or even with the main ridge of the house, which this does do. And then you'll have this on your roof plan. Your roof plan does get edited to show where that dormer sits and the roof lines of that dormer as well as the ridge of that dormer, okay? So we're going to draw that up here. And here's how you start. First thing is you want to decide where is that dormer going to go. I'm going to draw a midpoint to midpoint on this roof, and I want it to fall right in the middle of my roof. So I'm going to go from this midpoint, and I'm going to draw that up, and I no longer need this line. I'm also going to decide that I want this to be 10 feet, which means 5 apostrophe. And by the way, make sure that you changed your units to say architectural and not decimal. Architectural is going to allow you to type in feet and inches. So when I go to do this offset of five feet, I would do apostrophe. Just five would only be five inches. So five feet, this is going to go five feet left, five feet right. Okay. Uh, I next need to decide if I want to have my dormer wall fall right on top of the walls of the front of the house or if I wanted it to be set back more. Setting it back more does look nice. Sometimes you'll have one that falls over the front wall and two that are set back or you know vice versa um, which does look nice but it does require a little bit more structural work in the attic to support that weight of that dormer okay whereas this front wall falling over the front wall of the house is going to have its own structural stability already because it's just standing on top of a solid wall all right so i am going to draw mine even with the front wall here and the way i'm going to do that let's get rid of this stuff Whoops. The way I'm going to do that is I am going to bring up this line, start that at the roof, and I'm going to draw that up. For now, I don't know how far that's going to go, so I'm just going to draw it. This is the next one. Again, don't know how far quite yet. And we're going to leave that wall right there. Okay. Now, we need to know where does this wall hit this roof? This roof is going to incline and then boom, it's going to hit that wall. So I need to do a construction line, which is X line, and I got to go off of this point and draw that across. That's going to tell me where to trim these lines off because the roof is going to run up and then hit that wall. And then we can get rid of this construction line. We could close the bottom. We could start doing some match properties if we want. That's going to be a blue line. That's going to be blue. That's going to be blue. Okay. Now, how high are these walls going to go? I've already predetermined because I've drawn this before this video that I want these to go four feet. So they're going to go four feet and that's what's going to allow this ridge to end. I'm going to get rid of that too. This ridge is going to end below my main ridge. Um, you can make it even as well and that would probably be like a four foot six wall or whatever. You know, maybe you would just figure out where the point is that you want it to touch and then draw back from there. Okay. Um, so we have that. We're going to do an offset of 10 feet to get this line back. Oops. Try that again, 10 feet. Okay, we have this. And now the next thing you're gonna do is you're, this is the top of that wall. So if I was to finish that two by four wall, oh, I'm skipping here, hang on. Okay, I would draw 3.5 this way and I would draw down. 
and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now these are dummy lines. I only need them to decide where my roof incline, uh, you know, rise over run is going to go. We're going to steal this 612 pitch because we've already drawn this before in a past video. If you haven't drawn that before and you're not sure, you know, how to get this, uh, this, uh, these rafters, you're going to want to go back to one of my other videos. And I'm going to grab this from this point, which is the inside part of that 2x4 wall. And I'm going to bring that over and click that on the inside part of that 2x4 two, two, two wall. Sorry. Um, next thing, I'm going to draw a line up from this midpoint. And I'm going to trim that stuff off at that line. Trim, enter, trim that off. I can take these lines, and not that one though, and mirror them across the midpoint. Erase the source, no. So now I've got that. Get rid of this line. Although actually, I'm going to bring this, yeah, get rid of that line. I'm going to put a window up here too. So I know already that I want my window to be about eight inches uh, at the bottom of it. Okay. Now that window is going to be basically a dummy window. It's, you know, it is a functional window, but it's not going to open up to any room or anything because this is a decorative dormer. All right. Uh, next thing, get rid of this line. You're going to trim this line. You're going to extend that line. You're going to trim that line and you're going to get rid of this for right now. And what's going to happen is you're going to draw your line. Hold on, I'm skipping around again. I think it's my mouse. Could be the battery. I'm not sure. Okay, you're going to draw a line like that. And then you're going to draw a second line that goes down like this. Okay. Um, that match properties, oh boy, is going to be a match properties of this to that. Match properties of the blue to this and this. Blue. And that's it so far. We got to do some editing over here. Okay. Trim this off. Extend that until it touches. Trim that off. Draw a second line. And the reason why we're drawing a second line here is because they are different colors. So match properties, blue, blue, yellow or tan, whatever you want to call it. Yellow tan. Okay. So we're left with something like this. So that front dormer is done already. Okay. I am going to bring in a window though. This is my bathroom window that I used. It ended up being a pretty perfect size. I'm going to copy that from the midpoint of the bottom of the trim because I've already decided where I want this window to go and I'm going to slap that in there. You would then do your hatch pattern and match that as your siding hatch pattern, which again was done in past videos. Okay. Um, also, you'll notice that I'm missing all my windows up top here. That's only because this is the file that my students are going to be using and they have to draw their own windows in there because they did the, the design of the upstairs of this house. Okay. So now how do we draw this in the elevation? Well, now we know where the peak is. We're going to do a construction line. We're going to draw that from the peak and bring that across. You now know where that peak comes in and hits the roof. Okay. So that's good. Um, we can now draw, let's see, we can bring, okay, so we can bring this across. That's going to tell us where the edge of that roof is. I'm going to, I'm going to bring up this line just so I can trim some stuff here. All right, something like that. Now this is going to overhang the front of that by three. So I'm going to extend that by three and hang on, we're frozen again. There we go. I'm going to extend this by three. You're going to draw a line like that. You're going to trim this. So if I were to steal this, which again was drawn in a past video, and I mirror that, erase the source, no. Well, I guess we could have. I don't really need that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point, which I already have established, and I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to trim these off at that line. I can get rid of this red line now and I can extend those until they hit. Okay. So this is actually done. We just do match properties, blue, 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 tan or yellow. And you would do your hatch pattern of siding right here. So that is also done. So this matches up these. If I brought those across would all match up with this, 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 and this. And you could have done that if you didn't already draw it, um, but we copied that thing in because we have already drawn it before. Um, and now we want to basically know how do we do that in the roof plan here? How does this work? So what you would do is you would copy your roof plan that you already have 
and you'd put that in a central location. You would then take your elevation, okay, or your um, or your wall section, and you would bring that and rotate it into the side. Now I know that this has to be rotated this way and on the right side, and that it has to be lined up. So you'll notice that this roof line right here lines up with how wide or how far out this roof goes because this is a one foot two overhang um, on the front of this house. This on the front of the dormer we only did three inches because that's just basically what we did on the sides of the house where the A-frame on that side is. Okay, so you got to line these views up in order for this to work. So now, now we can start bringing things across to get our left to right. You also have to have your front elevation set up where the roof line of the wall section gets drawn up and meets oh boy this thing's being slow today and meets the outside of that roof okay hang on one second let's bring my wire a little closer maybe I'll get better connection all right it's a wireless mouse so it could be part of that um, but anyways that's now lined up as well so here's what you do you take an X line and this is all about drawing the roof section now, or the, the roof plan, and editing your roof plan, because the other parts are already done. You bring these down, that's going to be the sides of this roof. Trim them off. Okay? Take how far the roof comes out. Bring that across. Because you're only going to see that from the top view. You're not going to see all these bumps in, because this part is going to trump everything else. It's going to be overhanging that stuff so you can't see it. So you bring that across, that tells you where this is. This ends up being three inches right here, which we already know. Trim the sides off. Okay, so you're left with something like this. You know you're going to have a ridge down the middle. I can draw it to the ridge for now, the main ridge, but I don't know where that's going to end up just yet until I come right here. Boom, that's where it hits. That's going to be an X line. Bring that across. That tells you where to trim that off at. Okay. We can also, while we're here, trim these. We can get rid of this line rather than trimming and just draw another one. For now. Okay. Now, you're going to take a line from this point and you're going to do angle negative 45. Because I want it to come down this way on a 45. And I want that to hit right there. Notice how it wants to go to this midpoint. Just draw that too far and we'll trim it off later. I can then take this one and mirror it across and no for erasing the source. I can trim these sides off. I can trim this and I can get rid of this line and boom that's how it is right there. So match properties this is my red roof line. You'll notice I already had my text in place 612 direction of slope is that way direction of slope is this way and that's all set up so now you got your roof plan. So then you would probably copy that back into your section where you want everything lined up but that's pretty much it. That's how you draw a dormer in the front. That's how you get the front dormer translated over to the wall section or side elevation. And then that's how you would set up um, your, your different views in order to draw your roof plan. Okay. Now, if this was a very complex roof, I would actually have the other side of this elevation on the other side. And I would have the rear elevation on the rear side. And I would bring those things up to get more roof lines. But in this case, let's see if we have a sample somewhere you can see that this is a pretty intricate roof line. There's a lot of things going on. This is a hip roof with a couple slopes. This is a big dormer in the front here, which looks like that, okay? And the more complex it is, the more that you're going to want to have all four sides set up, bringing in construction lines from all four sides, okay? That's it. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, there's nothing else to say on that. That's how you would do a dormer. Um, if I wanted to put another dormer right here, I would get most of that stuff from this view. If I had another dormer here, it would be coming from this view because you can't see this side from this elevation or from this side of the wall section. Okay. Now they are similar, so you could actually mirror this um, and then and then use it. But that you know that's pretty much it. This is your dormer. It's a 10 foot dormer and it's decorative for us. And uh, I don't know. I guess that's the end of the video. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Get some more.